I've got the brand new Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G to unbox today. Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. I do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you are looking for in-depth tech and gadget content, you have come to the right place. This, my friends, is the brand new Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G. I literally just got home from Best Buy picking up my pre-order, so I wanted to go ahead and unbox it for y'all. So this, again, was a pre-order from Best Buy. You can also find it on Amazon. Currently, you can find this device for $100 off, even though it's brand new. So even though the MSRP is $700, I spent about $600 to purchase this from Best Buy. However, the same deal is running over on Amazon too, so I'll put those links down in the show notes in case you're interested. But this is the box. It comes in a variety of colors. I just so happen to get the color that's called Cloud Lavender, but there are a few different options that you can choose from. This one is the lower band 5G. However, there is another version on Verizon. That one is the millimeter wave 5G technology, but that one is more expensive. I believe it's about $50 more. Uh, however, there is a discount currently, so you can get it instead of $750, get it for $700. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up so we can see it. <laughs> My paperwork is stuck. Oh, here we have our little SIM removal tool. And inside this little cardboard box, we have the quick reference guide a little advertisement and terms and conditions. So nothing super exciting there. A Little bit of rice paper covering it up. And then here we have the phone. Hello, Reflections, check it out. If I flip it over, you will notice that it does have a plastic back. Oh, I actually feel like I should take this off closer to my microphone so you can actually hear it and get a little bit of that ASMR going on. There you go as it gets stuck to my hair. <laughs> okay, so the one that you see here is the Cloud Lavender color, and it does have a really pretty sheen to it. It's kind of a matte color, and it is plastic, which you can totally tell. It definitely feels like plastic, but I decided to choose this color because purple is my favorite color. Obviously, I mean, my hair is purple, so it kind of makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and get this booted up. And while that is starting up, we will check out what else is in the box. So, little piece of paper covering up the charger. Now this is an adaptive fast charging adapter. So this can do fast charging, which is really cool. We also get nothing in there. And this must be the cable. Yes, okay, so, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, in there, in the box for the Fold 2, I believe, it's USB-C to USB-C. This one is regular old USB to USB-C, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so it looks like it boot up just fine, and uh, I have about 50% battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up with my accounts and everything after this unboxing video, but I did want to mention some of the specs with this new phone. So this is a 6 0.5 inch AMOLED display. It is 120 hertz, even though you're only spending 700 bucks. So that's a pretty good option. And it is lower resolution than the other S20s. While it is a plastic back, it does have water resistance and dust resistance as well. It's IP68. It does have less RAM and storage than the other S20 models. So if that is important to you, then highly recommend upgrading to one of those models instead. But this one does have a slot for a micro SD card. So you can get additional space up to one terabyte, even though this only comes with one option, and that is 128 gigs and six gigs of RAM. This includes the Snapdragon 865 from Quad so that is a bit of a increase from what you receive with the Pixel 5, which is going to be coming out in about two weeks, although they are about the same price point. So I'm definitely going to be doing a versus video between the two. This one also has a battery that matches the S20 Plus, which I also have on hand. So I could do a battery comparison between the S20 Plus and the S20 FE. Uh, that battery is a 4,500 milliampere hour battery. Now I mentioned this charger over here 
here, this is a 30 watt fast charging device and you can also do 15 watts of wireless charging as well. And 15 watts is pretty much the max that you can get. And it also apparently does wireless power share. So I'm excited to test that too because I do have some Samsung buds that I can test that with. You'll notice that you do get three cameras on the back. There are three lenses right there and there's also the flash right next to it. Now the camera is lower quality. This one can only record up to 4K instead of 8K like the other S20s and there is no 64 megapixel camera. But, but, the very important part, you do get the ultra wide and the zoom lenses just like the S20. So that's pretty cool. The front camera on here, oh is that a screen protector? Oh it's a screen protector except it's it's got a like a little notch at the top. Why didn't they just put a screen protector on it that's supposed to stay on it? They included one, but it's like this itty bitty cheap film. So I'll just peel that off. I don't even know if you could hear that on my microphone, but I tried. <laughs> So that front camera is just right there and it is a little punch out hole. Uh, that is a 32 megapixel lens. That is better than the S20 and the S20 Plus. So pretty interesting specs on here and all together, if you combine all these specs that I've just mentioned, this definitely sounds like a flagship device, but you're not spending a thousand dollars. So I am very interested in the performance of this phone. I am very interested in the battery life and the cameras as well. Well, although I am going to assume that the cameras will not be as good as the Pixel 5, that's generally the case with Samsung phones. But I love the color of this phone, obviously. I mean, it kind of matches my lights back here as well. So I'm definitely interested in this phone. I think it'll be really fun to review. If you have any questions, leave those down below in the comments and I will make sure to answer those during my review and any comparisons that I do of this phone as well as other phones that I have on hand that I can test it against. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm Shannon Morse and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all. Also, these curls are completely natural. I usually straighten my hair and that's why it looks like a rat's nest. But hey, I mean, it's like October hocus pocus witch time. So I kind of look like a hocus pocus witch and I'm okay with that. I mean, aren't we all?